Okay, so we're back with Undertale Yellow, and here I'm going to do the uh, new tour route this time. Last time we did the pacifist route, so I had to click reset, obviously. But uh, how I do the new tour route is I don't usually kill regular monsters, I just kill the, uh, um, what are they? The bosses and the mini bosses to see what happens. So we'll go from there. Frog and Hop close. Uh, we just want to. Act like usual because this doesn't really change anything. Frog didn't understand what you said, but it was fine. But anyway, a lot of this first part will probably be the same because nothing will really change until like Face, Desi Bat, and uh, Dal because they're the only really boss and mini bosses in this. Hello, are you alright? I'm gonna skip this word dialogue because it's the same. Anyway, yeah, so th I did this in my past this route, which will be up before this one, but uh. So, uh, this route should go by a lot faster since I'm not really paying attention to the dialogue. Anyway, here we go. And I'm probably not going to... Oh, I don't know if I want to do the whole, uh... What's it called? Their, uh... The whole secret mini frog at bo battle. Which I guess I could count as a mini boss and do it to see what happens. I didn't do it on the new route, but I doubt it changes much, and I kind of want to get the pair. Yeah, see, this is the exact same, like I said, up until I faced Desi Bat. They don't even have any changed dialogue from uh, seeing me again after resetting. But maybe this is a bit of pass this route, I don't know. Oh well. Let's just keep going on. Okay, um, it should have opened by now. I guess I'll read this. I was sure I labeled the correct lever. Ah, do not worry, my child. Try pressing the other one. I mean, I guess this is an interesting way to change it up and get them to go to a different area. Instead of just making you go through the same thing as the, uh, real game. My child, don't worry, I'm coming. I. Oh dear. I. I'll find another way down there, don't you fret. Just be careful. Or, or stay put, okay? I... I can't lose you. I... I'll be right there. Uh, though if I do the micro frog at battle, I'm probably going to press the numbers off screen. That's... I don't know though. This is an idea. Anyway, I'm the hell yellow. Neutral this time. And there's the missing poster. I kept calling it a wanted poster last time, like we wanted for some crime, even though it's just a missing children's poster. Anyway, here we go. Time to meet old Flowey again. The, yeah, the genocide route would be the only one that's really different, because it has differences a lot sooner. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You look confused. Tori all ought to have taught you how things work around here already. She didn't. I guess little old me will have to do them. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your LV represents your love. It's... <laughs> I'm sure you won't have to worry about that. In the underground, monsters may try to attack you. If you see bullets like these, you need to avoid them at all costs. Try dodging my bullets now. Here they come. Nice job there, buddy. In case you do get hit, I can save your progress. That means if something bad happens, I can make it unhappen for you. You probably want to go home, don't you? Well, you've got a long journey ahead. If you ever need to save, come look for me. I'll leave these little things around for you. That way, it's easy to find me. If you see one, don't hesitate to call me, and then I'll save for you. Like I just saved for you now. Just one more thing. The king of all the monsters, Asbor, he's been killing humans. The only way out is killing him and... Well... You're pretty small. Size doesn't matter too much though. What matters is you've got me on your side. I'll let you get going, but please be careful. There's all sorts of dangerous traps down here. 
and some of the monsters in this place. I hear they don't like visitors, so good luck! Uh, okay, and anyway, let's save. Howdy! Looks like you got it then. So, anyway, for Asgore, he's going to kill Clover eventually, obviously, but still, this kind of sounds like we make friends with Dal, or depending on what you do, you make friends with Dal and then just disappear and he probably wouldn't even know what happened. Flyer is giving funny try, but that's also speculation depending on what they do. I always comfort. Your poor player that his life isn't half over, he has a whole half left to go. I... This isn't really me. This... I don't know, this might go fast if I'm not paying attention to really what they say that much. Uh... It was this one... This one... I'm trying to think why it's called exposition, like... I, I don't know, if someone can explain that to me, please do, because I don't get it really. Oh. Flyer is giving fighting a try. Oh shit. Uh, now it keeps barren, I guess. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. So, about Flowey, since we've just seen him, he has to go through a drastic change between this and Undertale, because this is supposed to, according to the game troll page, it's supposed to take place only, I don't know, a couple years before Frisk. So that means like two or three years. That's a good for a drastic change from helping us to the whole it's kill or be killed that we see with an Undertale. I don't know, that's just, again, speculation, but something probably happens to cause that, and they might show that in this game, I don't know. Hey friend. Nice to see you again. It's been a long time. I was wondering if you'd ever come back. Who am I kidding? You're not here. No one is here. I sent them all away. They will never come back. Huh. I must be seeing things. So, obviously in this route we're going to end up killing him and... So uh, I wonder if we'll be able to go into his, um, that room that he wouldn't let us go in last time. Penella draws us near. Uh, let's just distract and get this over with. You put yourself in between Penella and her work. I don't know if I can uh, pronounce that right. I suppose I could use a break. Penella? I don't know. I almost ran into that. And that was close. Penella's packing up her art supplies for the day. You win. Earn 3 gold and 0 XP. Alright. All that seeing her reminds me of is when I used to draw. According to the price list, it's a lemonade stand, 5 gold a glass. Take some? Sure. You pour yourself a glass, but there is no attendant to take your money. What poor service. Leave a tip? Sure. You've decided to take leave a tip. How much? Since I'm going neutral and it's like halfway between good and bad, I'll go halfway and just say a small amount. You break a coin and half and debate which half to throw in. They are both worthless anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh. There's no lemonade left. So I gave him nothing? Just broke a coin in half? That's an interesting hand I would just throw in like three coins or a coin or something. I liked it though. Howdy! I see you're still in one piece. You saw that weirdo, right? If you want to get out of here, you'll have to go through him. He shouldn't be a problem though. And if he is, that's why I'm here. 8 minutes and 35 seconds I think? I don't know what it means. Anyway. I'll just get the corn. So I wonder if that place scripted because I always should have been at the exact same place. Sweetcorn hops up excitedly. I love this hug. You give Sweetcorn a big hug. She quickly gets stuck to your shirt. I love hugs. Heart. I know. Sweetcorn's probably my favorite enemy out of the ones they added in. Sweetcorn is smiling contentedly. Like, I like their design in general. I just think it's an interesting idea. It's a rejected piece of corn. Take it. I'm also going to get the stone pebble, or I don't know why I specified stone pebbles. All pebbles are stone, but I definitely want to get the pebbles this time since I'll, I'll actually be using them in this route, unlike the last time. So, I just go up to show people where they are in case they didn't know that and they decide to play this game for themselves. Which I will be linking in the description of this game so you guys can support the creators. Because uh, it's a great game and you should check out yourself. Watching someone play is a lot different than actually playing it. But 
Oh well. Yeah. Because it's free to play. You don't have to pay anything to play this. I don't think Toby Fox lets people charge for their fan games. I forgot to click the switch. But yeah, I don't think Toby Fox lets people charge for fan games on Undertale, but I don't know. I don't know if he ever said anything specifically about that or not. But. Oh well, it's a game worth supporting. If you ever get the chance. Uh, two. Penelope seems to be dreading this battle. Uh, comfort. In the fourth line of his life isn't half over. He has a whole half left to go. I... This isn't really me. I know the last time when I was hurrying up after that recording failed, uh... It did have a battle i never seen. Flyer test and model for time, which was the, uh... Corn and the scroll character in the same thing together. You put yourself in between Penelope and the work. But I ran, so I don't know what their attacks were like. I suppose I could use a break. It was interesting nonetheless, I guess. Because I didn't know they would show up together. Flyer attempts to model for a jumpling. You win. Or five gold and zero XP. I guess Flyer didn't even pay attention to that, uh, she would, Or, I assume it was she, Penelope, is taking a break. From drawing, is from what I just said. Little pile can be only bullet chain the pedal. Take them. Now we're gonna remember to equip them. And I can drop these, I don't really need them. The only reason I could see keeping on them is if there was ever a shopkeeper so you could sell them. But there isn't, so I drop them. And there's not a box either really to store them in, that'd also be another use, I guess. Though they might add that in the next one. You can already feel the cavities. You give Sweet Corn a big hug. She really gets stuck to your shirt. I love hugs. So I wonder if that cornstalk's like attached, or if when you give her a hug, she comes out of the cornstalk. The way it seems that they'd be attached. Sweet Corn hops to the rhythm. That's a new one. I didn't see that before. You give Sweet Corn a big hug. She really gets stuck to your shirt. I love hugs. Oh well. Oop. That sucked. I went the wrong way when I was trying to get away from that. The Sweet Corn's hop to the rhythm. You win, and 8 gold is your XP. I'm getting, like I said, you're getting a lot of gold for nothing. The, they are, from the trailer, the douche, the way, uh, what's it called? A, um, shopkeeper. Is it wrong that I want them to come back? Not like they were before, but... Like they actually cared, maybe? Is it wrong to want them to come, but not want to ask? Again? What is this? Why does it appear every time I start monologuing? I think I need more sleep. Oh, I didn't even think about this. In his house, it might say different stuff since he's not there telling me about it. It's just whatever Clover says about it. Anyway, let's continue on. Because we don't have to worry about that right now. The next worry is Dalv. I mean, the next worry is Death of that. Worm encounters you. Smile. You give a slight smile. Worm smiles back. Smiles are never out of style. I don't know. Oh crap, I ran right into that. Worm reflects on his current or his hat reflects. Adjust. You adjust your hat. Worm seems pleased. Looking good. Okay. Oh. Oh crap. Ran right into that one too. Worm is looking around. Critique. You critique your appearance. Worm is very pleased. You look perfect. Oh. Oop. Let's see. Okay, Roar is looking for his next project. He win. And 5 gold is your XP. Howdy. Golly, this place sure is dead. It could be a lot worse for us. In the chance we got all the monsters are quite and lurking. It's not like monsters at all. Don't fret. Don't let this ruin your impression of the underground. Don't let this ruin your impression of the ruins. We'll leave this dump behind you soon enough. And that's that. I should have leave this dump behind soon enough. I actually added you into there. Okay, so we'll do this and save afterwards, and that'll be the end, which is just about time. It's been about 15 minutes, I think. Because I mostly because I skipped all the tutorials dialogue, really. Oh, here we go. Blink. Oop, angry. And. I like his theme music, or her, I don't know. Does that make his? Does that make his presence known? 
27. Don't move, don't make a sound. Hush, hush. Okay, simple attack, just the don't move thing. Decibet is whispering something too quiet to hear. Oop, another 27. Move in silence, hush, hush. Which of this is easy, I just move in a circle. I noticed this was a lot easier on controller than moving attacks, because I would stop to click the... Or there'd be a brief pause to pick, click the next arrow key when using the keyboard. Anyway, Deathman is whispering something too quiet to hear. And he's whispering nothing now. Sweet silence. And I did... I wonder how much experience I have. Uh... Or how much I need for the next one. I need 10 for the next level, so... It didn't level me up, but, oh well, it's not really important, I'm not trying to level up, I'm just curious what would happen. Howdy. You seem to be doing well. <clears throat> you haven't even died once. Not that I thought you would, but it's nice to be prepared. Alright, so, 50 minutes and 25 seconds, I think. Anyway, that's where we're leaving this part off for now, the neutral route for Undertale Yellow. Uh, we'll pick up next time with, uh, going through the numbers thing and going to fight Dal and killing him. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye.